what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. Today I'm doing a quick video, as you saw in the description, of cleaning this watch up and removing some scratches that are in the dial. I'm hoping that scratch right there, you should be able to see it. I'm hoping that comes out. Now, this is a watch I got on OfferUp. I uh, bought it used, it was like maybe 10 bucks. <laughs> And I like that it's a day date. It is smaller. So at first I, I didn't really like the size of it. I ended up giving it to my dad um, and he's been wearing it a lot until the leather strip here busted off. And so the excess uh, leather material was just kind of hanging so he couldn't wear it anymore. But look at the, man, look at the <laughs> condition of this thing. Wow. Jeez, it's seen better days. I'm gonna end up buying a new strap for this. Um, I might even get a new buckle because look, you can see the that finishing is wearing off there, that brass. Um, the face looks good, the dial, case, everything else looks like it's in okay shape. So what we're gonna do is detail this thing up. And what I like to use is a combination of things. So first off, this is Novus, really good for taking out scratches and uh, fine micro marring from plastics and um, acrylic, things like that. You can use it on a lot of different things. I used, as you saw, I bought a kit that had one, two, three. I used all number two, because that's the most common one. So I went and bought another bottle of number two. But basically three is for your heavy scratches, a little bit deeper things. Two is fine, I use this the most. And then number one to kind of buff it out. In combination with that though, I like to use this Zymol HD Cleanse. This is used for uh, automobiles and this stuff is amazing. Um, basically takes out all of the micro marring, uh, fine scratches in your clear coat and allows you to basically clean, get everything prepped and ready before you apply a wax. Good stuff. Highly recommend it. I wouldn't recommend buying a bottle of this stuff just to do the occasional watch face, but if you're into cleaning and detailing your cars, good stuff right here. Before we get started, let me do a wrist check for my guys out there. So today we're in the Peugeot. Peugeot, it's my most recent homage purchase for the Cartier Tank Solo Extra Large because it is a larger size watch. Um, you definitely won't find most Cartier watches this big or this thick. But this is 18 karat gold plated over, I'm assuming, stainless steel. I'll do a full review on this bad boy and the link will be up here when the time comes. All right, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing I like to do on the leather watch or on the dress watch is take the leather straps off and the springs and then I just use um, a nylon bristle brush and some all-purpose cleaner. I'm using this all-purpose cleaner from McGuire's. I bought a gallon of this stuff. Um, it's concentrate, so I dilute it and it's lasting me a really long time. I bought this back in 2016 and you can see in this picture I have quite a bit left. But um, as you see on both of these watches, I use the all-purpose cleaner and just kind of start getting in all the nooks and crannies with the brush and just removing all the dirt and grime that's built up over time. Um, the watch on the right you'll actually see is a uh, watch that my brother-in-law uses daily and I asked him if he'd be cool with letting me do a video uh, detailing it and he was definitely cool with that. So um, that's where that watch came from. It's a Swiss made um, Wenger or Wenger watch, really nice. And um, that has more water resistance, so I can be a little bit more uh, generous with the cleaner on there. But you kind of see me going to work here on those. And then after uh, doing a thorough cleaning on both watches, what I'll do is apply a little, a little bit of the Novus cream, which basically it's like a comp rubbing compound. And I apply that to <clears throat> um, the dials and then just anywhere where there's fine scratches. After I'm done wiping that off, if it needs the heavy scratch remover, I'll hit it with that. But usually the number two is uh, sufficient for both of these uh, watches. I wasn't able to get the deep scratch out of the Timex. That would require wet sanding because um, of how deep the scratch was in the glass. So I decided we'll just leave that for another video. I might revisit that at another time, but for 10 bucks on a watch, it's just not, not worth my time at this point. Um, well, the second to last step is to then apply the Zymol HD cleanse and you'll see me doing that and I apply that to all the finishes not just the glass the entire watch gets a coating of that and then I just kind of rub that off once that's done that helps brighten up everything on the metals and then I'll use like I didn't record this part but what I do is I basically use a polishing cloth like from James Avery for sterling silver and I hit that on all sides of the watch and that's where you really see it come to shine and breathe new life into each of these watches. Um, it's a really easy process, something I definitely recommend doing. 
But let me know, did this video help you out? Do you do something different in your process when you clean and detail your watches? I'd love to hear about it, so leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, share it with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care.